Bonjour, I'm Vivian, and welcome to the beautiful Loire Valley of France, home to the world's most spectacular fairy tale castles. It is also the location of my home, a small neo Renaissance chateau, which I share with my husband Simon, daughter Isabella, and our delightful pets. However, this is not our first chateau. For 17 years, we lovingly restored and adored a much larger castle until we decided to downsize. Now we're doing it all again, just on a smaller scale. So join us for some chateau fun, chateau life, chateau renovations, chateau travel, chateau food, and chateau love. Bonjour lovelies. We are back. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. We have missed you. In case you've been wondering where we've been, well, we have been everywhere and we can't wait to share our adventures with you. If you're new to our channel, we feature the love of all things Chateau, the love we share with our friends and family with our own Chateau, as well as adventures with other castle loving and castle owning friends. <laughs> I'm currently in the beautiful island of Cyprus, in the northern part of Cyprus to be precise, at the incredible home of Simon's sister Susanna and her husband Steve. I finally joined up with Simon after an extraordinary summer where we have been gallivanting all over Europe, but most importantly, finally, after a long pandemic, seeing our friends and our family. If we go right back, you may remember that when we started our channel, Chateau Love, it was during lockdown and we weren't even allowed to go further than one kilometer from our house. And so much has changed since then. We started our little silly videos for our friends and family, and now we have so many more friends, thanks to all of you out there. When we last left you was when my lovely friend Sally came to visit, and we went all over, but also to the beautiful Chateau Dermanonville. Our incredible summer began when the restrictions finally started being lifted, and we went on a camping trip down to the Dune de Pila. We also then met some other vloggers, Ashley and Johnny from the Chateau de Lomini, Hot on the heels of that, we met Stephanie and her incredible household at the Chateau de la Lande of the Chateau Diaries. And there we also met the lovely Steve and Sarah of the YouTube channel Manor and Maker. After our wonderful stay at the Chateau de la Lande, we then had a bunch of birthdays, mine, Simon's and Isabella's. We went Because everybody knows your feelings about really stinky cheese. Oh, no, no, no. Usually of the goat's variety. Yeah, th no, that, is the, that is the issue I have. It's got nothing to do with the stink. It's, you see, that's a completely different, <laughs> it's a really it's a completely different smell. Though. A completely different smell. It doesn't smell like that. Simon, our videos are cheesy enough as they are. And anyway, Steve and Sarah are hosting this week's Cheese of the Week. We went to Paris for the first time in a couple of years. We're walking through our favorite neighborhoods in Paris and we adore the park of the Champ de Mar. Behind us is the Eiffel Tower and they're doing an incredible amount of work on it. There are amazing scaffoldings that have been erected and it's actually quite quiet here. There aren't very many tourists, a lot of French people just out enjoying the sunshine and us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we feel quite French after so many years here in France. Yeah. Um, it's a beautiful day and we are pretty excited because the Tour de France is gonna be coming through here in a couple of days. On Sunday, that's right. <laughs> yep. And they're building something up over there, some mm -hmm. big uh, scaffold if you wanna look around. <laughs> so behind us. You see that? You see? Simon was able to see the finale of the Tour de France and here are a few of those highlights now. Uh, well I'm in Paris and today as chance would have it the Tour de France arrives so I thought we'd go and have a look and see if we can see some of it 
Uh, right behind me, that way, you can see the entrance of the uh, Champs-Elysees, uh, which is where they're going to be racing this afternoon. Well, behind me there are the uh, two lanes. I'm going to walk over and show them to you now. So you can see the lanes for the arrival. And <coughs> you'll see on the other side the TV barriers. So here we are. This is where they're going to be coming in and you can see it's not that busy. thought I would just take a moment while we're waiting for the riders to show you a little bit of the Champs-Elysees, a little bit of the uh, beautiful shops that are here. Right behind me is La Durée, one of the most famous macaron and tea shops in the world. We're inside La Durée. I'm about to show you some of the beautiful macarons that they make here. But just have a look at this wonderful display uh, case right behind me. Right, here we go. This is what they're famous for. The Lagerie Macaron. Well, I declare, are those 24 karat gold macaron? I don't mind if I do. The Arc de Triomphe right behind me. There you see it there. The race will be coming in here in about uh, 15 minutes or so. And uh, it's getting hot in this mask, but we all have to wear them outside. from here and see a little bit behind the crowd as the bikes come up uh, the Champs-Elysees from Concord and you can see the crowd react as they come up been a great spectacle with the Tour de France and it's so nice to be up and out in Paris I don't know how long it'll be before they close the salt town again but at least we're out at the moment and it's so nice to be here and for those of you that have been wondering what exactly is going on at our own chateau I can assure you we have been busy so busy in fact that I do not seem to have enough time to edit <laughs> So lots of content coming up. When I left you yesterday, this was just a partition wall. Uh -huh. And look at this. What have you done? I just drywalled it. I just put in the uh, frame at the back. So that's behind here, all solid. This will have to come off with a plumber so he can mm -hmm. place the shower. Handsome Prince is going to hang it. And guess what? What? I'm going up a ladder. Again. You are going up a ladder again. Your favorite thing to do. My literal least favorite thing to do. And this is, I think, going to be incredible. So, what project do we have going on in here? This is an ensuite bathroom for one of the bedrooms on the top floor of the chateau and uh, it was pretty disgusting before we started getting into it, but we've cleared it all out. This um, apparently is the not pretty disgusting version. <laughs> yeah, it looks a lot worse than this. So you've already laid the floor, as you can see. You I nice did floor. lay this floor, yeah. actually, unfortunately, before I, we started our channel and I started filming, and so I don't have any video. Before. It wasn't too long before, but... Uh, yeah, it was right before. Anyway. Yeah, so the floor's laid, and uh, 
What I'm doing now is just framing out and um, going in after the plumber who's been in. You kiss me, heaven sighs, and Simon and I then took you to the Chateau and Gardens of Villandry where we had a slightly wet day, but it was glorious. We had such fun and ended up singing in the rain. And our summer was only just getting started. With our new friends, Stephanie and Philip from the Chateau Diaries, we all attended a beautiful special invitation for the opening of the Galleries Leonardo da Vinci at the Chateau de Clos Lucet, which was the final home of Leonardo da Vinci himself for an afternoon of art, technology, inventions, and a lot of hilarity. Speak, angels sing from above. You've been watching our recent videos, you'd be forgiven for thinking that perhaps the only people we know lately have other YouTube channels and other chateau, but in fact, we do actually have a lot of friends that we haven't been able to see for a year and a half or longer. And this week, we are visiting a couple of our dear friends, that we've known for 20 years and we're at their beautiful little country house it's behind us and the rest of the gang are in the river swimming one needn't have a chateau to have an idyllic french countryside experience which is clearly proven by the exquisite cottage owned by our friends bruce and gretel gretel so tell us about where we are and what the chateau is ah well, we are at the top of the hill above the village of Sorel, which uh -huh. is part of the village of Sorel Moussel on the river Eure. Yes. Eure as in Europe. Uh huh. And uh, <coughs> it's a very beautiful, small valley that's quite well preserved, I have to say, not far from Paris, just an hour away. And uh, we're about to visit the old chateau Sorel uh -huh. that was destroyed in, well, not semi destroyed in the French Revolution, as you'll see. The middle part of the chateau was knocked down or burned down and the gardens are lovely and they have marquee up all summer to host weddings and things beautiful and above here is the forest where julius caesar tried to take over Gaul, the gauls uh, fighting asterix and obelisk <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. If you believe in the cartoon version of history. And you said it's the forest of the Druids. Well, in theory, the word Dru, which is the nearest city. Uh huh. People hypothesize it comes from the word Druid because these are the Druid forests, you know. Wonderful. With the magic mistletoe trees. Well, and it's pagan worship. And all so that. beautiful. Let me show. This is the walk where we just came up oh, with a little car coming up. Let's go see the chateau. Yeah. Really interesting. I love hearing everybody debate Neolith Neolithic and Roman campaigns and what happened in uh, whether it was a city or an encampment or just a fort. After hiking across thousands of years of history, we arrived at the chateau and were met by an exquisite gate. Sadly, we didn't have time to go inside, but here are just a few little snippets of what we saw. Right after Sally left, my incomparable sister, Ashley, came to visit, and we hadn't seen each other for a couple of years. And that so in love with you am I, in love with the night mysterious, the night when you first were there, in love with my joy. And that was so special. You've been hearing her sing the introduction, La Vie en Rose, as well as lots of other lovely songs on our channel. But now you finally get to meet her in person. Welcome back, everyone. We finally have house guests. On our last video, you saw that we had my friend Sally who came for five days, but now we have more than one house guest and we are so excited. For those of you who uh, have been watching our vlogs, you have been listening to a lot of the lovely music being sung by my sister, Ashley, 
And here she is in person. <laughs> so Ashley, what brings you to our house? Well, you're my sister. <laughs> and it's been, it's been two years since I've seen you. Just by countless hours on the phone. But this is yes. our first 3D communication Yay. in two years. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> and we also have the lovely Steve and Sarah. And for those of you who have been watching The Chateau Diary, you might recognize Steve and Sarah because they spent a few months at La Lande. Steve and Sarah, what brings you to our house? <laughs> Well, we were having a lovely dinner at La Lande, and some really, really nice people invited us to come stay at their chateau. Yeah. <laughs> Little did they know. <laughs> so so we, are. Well, we are back in France now because we have sold our house in Canada, and we are now officially moved to France. <laughs> um, and the Exactly. And we're in our process, so uh, we're actually hoping to get our house sometime in the next month. And um, we needed a little bridge to get us there, and fortunately, Vivian and Simon were so super kind to allow us to stay here oh, and, yeah. and bring our dogs. Yeah. And our dogs, too. <laughs> they got to come as well. Thankfully, everything went off without a hitch, and Steve and Sarah are now happily ensconced in their beautiful new Chateau de Saint-Germain-des-Prés, and make sure to check out their YouTube channel. Wonderful, yeah, and, and Steve and Sarah are actually watching Pablo while Ashley and I... <laughs> yes, thank you, Pablo. <laughs> while Ashley and I and Isabella go to Cortona to see Ashley's in-laws, and we're going to have some really fun, exciting things happening for you in that area. And Simon is off to see his parents in Cyprus, and he may send us some fun oh, nice. too. I have oh, a video. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to enjoy our girls' time, yes. for sure. Yeah. But before we left for Cortona, there was still some fun to be had at home. So I took Sarah to my favorite brocante, where she went in search of her very first purchase for their new chateau. And it did not disappoint. Sarah and I are at my favorite local brocante, and she has found, what have you found, Sarah? I have found what they call a fauteuil, or a, it's not quite a bear chair because the arms are not covered, uh -huh. but a pair of lovely leather chairs, which uh, are a really interesting style. They're a bit sort of sway. <laughs> And we're <laughs> and they're really kind of cool and funky and they're yeah. Let's they're, go see them. I'd let's see them. Here before he loads it, Sarah, show me show me how it looks with the footstool. This is going to look so incredible in your new chateau. I, I love the patina on it. There's like a little bit of wear, but it's not kind of to the gross part. Yet. Yes. So I think a little bit of, of leather care will go a long way. And the shape of it is just phenomenally comfy. Yes. They're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it's just about going to work. Miracle of miracles, two armchairs and a footstool squeezed into the car. Steve's about to be surprised with the first purchase of their new chateau. Thank you. I bought you leather chairs, honey. <laughs> <laughs> excited about them. Can I sit in them? Yes, no, please, no, try. No, please no. try. Please try. Please try. I'm so excited. Simon, you've got oh, your jealous oh, face oh, on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. You've oh, got oh, your... Oh, oh, well, if you don't, if you don't know, wait till you sit. Yeah. Sit. They do look comfortable. They are really comfortable. Oh. Wow. That's nice. <laughs> We're just going to leave you two out here for... <laughs> Can we get you a beer? <laughs> Poor yeah. Scott, yeah. even better. Scoring a couple of cup holders. Yeah. 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 They're nice. They're, they're so comfortable, aren't they? Yeah. 
Oh, I can so sleep in one of these. <laughs> really comfortable. <laughs> Unless Pavlova keeps you awake. <laughs> That's all good. We need to get them indoors quickly because it's, it's about to rain on us. <laughs> Every year our village hosts a night market, so we took Steve and Sarah. So we have the sushi truck. We have a cheese truck. Sweets and ice cream. And more in the background. Let's go find out what it is. Steve's about to open our local champagne. <laughs> This one broke the bank. How much was it? Six euros. Six euros. Okay. It's better be good. It's expensive. It, uh, I think it's going to be good. How could it not be good? It came from our neighbor, who's also a street vendor at the market. This is a bottle of our local sparkling wine from the vineyard just behind our house, where we did the vlog. They're here tonight. Lovely. They have, they're here tonight. They're selling their wine. And we thought, well, why not buy some more? We'll have a bottle of uh, sparkling. Lovely. So, and we're comparing it to the one we just had, which is the other neighbor. So when we live in the vineyards, you know, we have to have a sparkling wine tasting. It's important. And this is Bethel Tolicionel, which means it's made in the same way as champagne. That's right. Oh. And we had a glass of real champagne at home. And so now... <laughs> so, that, so we're having a very good night indeed. And there's the neighbor selling his wine there. Oh, fantastic proper glasses. Yay. So we're just going to get some cheese for cheese of the week from our local cheese seller here at the market. So have a look at some of them and see what there is. very creamy cheese and it's called a dry cheese this is dry over here half dry so you get less dry as you come across Tu prends le gingembre s'il vous plaît Oui. Et en plus... So which one are you getting now This is a demi-sec. Uh, and what? Demi-sec blanc. Demi-sec blanc et ça c'est... Demi-sec cendré. Cendré, voilà. Bon, je me prends le demi-sec blanc aussi. Comme ça S'il vous plaît, oui. Est-ce qu'on peut prendre le cœur Le cœur Ok, le cœur, ça va. Merci. Pour ma cœur, ok. <rire> ouais, c'est mignon. <rire> bah, merci. Voilà. Jesus, <rire> At the night market in Marcel, here we are. I have Sarah and Steve, and we're going to do cheese of the week. It's our very first cheese of the week. Yeah. We are let me, These tell you, delicious. let me tell you what we have. So this is from our local cheesemaker who lives literally uh, less than 300 meters from our house. Oh, this, is, is, uh, this is ginger with onion. Ginger and onion. Yeah. That sounds delicious. This is a sangha, so cindered, an ash, yeah. an ash one. And this one is... What? It's a little heart. How many cheeses in the shape of a heart? <laughs> I mean, this is just. This is well, a real heart. Okay. I mean, this is like my first cheese of the week, but I don't know how you can beat this. It's a demi-sec. No, it's a, uh, you know, it's all about the love. So let's, let's go. <laughs> it's all about the love. <laughs> so let's go straight to the heart of the matter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's about cheesy jokes as well. Oh. Okay, I'm using. All right, we're gonna cut that because that's <laughs> okay. All right. You take a piece off the of the knife and see what yep. you think. Steve. So. Right, but this isn't gonna go well because I'm not a cheese guy, but at least come from champagne. Nice chef. I will say it's a very a very standard chef. I won't say okay. it's not got anything okay. particularly distinctive about it. Okay. Okay. 
So, but it's got a nice shape, and we can appreciate exactly. the it's form. Art, so, I mean, really, it's we can appreciate the style, if not the substance. Yeah. Okay, now we're going for the ginger with onion. With my microphone. So for you people out there, I am trying to improve sound quality, but I'm also losing my champagne in the process. <laughs> this is the dry, this is the, this is the ash or samba. It's a dry cheese. You like that? It's got more hints of like a blue cheese about it. Okay. And that is definitely right up my alley. Steve, I'm probably going to hate it, but I love it. Yeah, I'm more on, I, I was more on the ginger, I think. But okay. It's, uh, it's nice. So if we had to vote, who's the winner? Of the three cheeses. For me, it's the salt. So okay. One, Sarah. For me, it's the ginger. Fantastic. Good. But definitely a plus one for the hard scene. Because, so, I mean, really, I mean, if that is in cheese love, chateau love, I don't know what. Uh, so just, yeah. What's left of our heart? Lovely. Yeah. I'm heartbroken. <laughs> Over cheese. What's a tiny village night market without some archery? Steve and Sarah have some very impressive dancing skills. We're going to have to work on that ourselves. That's my girl. was really fortuitous. They were able to house sit for us for a month before they were able to move into their new chateau, which was perfect timing. Ashley and I went to Italy together to see Ashley's in-laws, whom she hadn't seen for a very, very long time. So we are arriving and we are so happy to be back at the Vicolo, which is this collection of little houses that all belong to Ashley's husband's family and his mother, Vanna, who just collected us. Isn't it beautiful? And look at that view. Now let's go inside and get freshened up. Ciao, Vanna. Hi. I am Vanna, uh, Ashley's mother-in-law. And we had lots of adventures, including going to Cortona, Pisa, and Florence, as well as private tour in a magnificent private 15th century palazzo so please stay tuned to our upcoming episodes we also were joined by stephanie philip michael and ruth of chateau de la lande as well as the fantastically dashing curtis ryan woodside 
please make sure to check out all of their channels because they are great. It was wonderful seeing them in Italy. <laughs> so we've been rendezvousing all over Europe. Meanwhile, Simon came to see his family here in Cyprus, staying at his sister's beautiful villa overlooking the view behind me, as well as being able to finally see his parents. And stay tuned for lots of episodes of our incredible adventures in Italy. <laughs> We're also gonna introduce you to Simon's family here in Cyprus and show you some of the delights here of Northern Cyprus. I've been to Southern Cyprus before, but never Northern Cyprus, which is a completely different experience, even though it's on the same island, because it's so unspoiled. So this has been an extraordinary trip, and it was especially nice to finally see Simon again. So we're gonna be sharing a lot of his adventures alongside our Italian adventures. We've just pulled over on the side of the road to show you the most extraordinary sight. Look behind us. Sunflower fields, as far as the eye can see. La vie on sunflower. La vie on sunflower. They are taller than you. They are taller than me. <laughs> see? See them? Look at all those sunflowers. <laughs> Go for miles and miles behind us. Look. <laughs> so as you can see, we did not forget about you. You have been in our thoughts all summer and we have had our camera at the ready. And now we are really looking forward to sharing these experiences with you. And we welcome you back for lots more Chateau Love. Give your heart and soul to me and life will always be. La vie